And, um, it's a great joy uh, for me to be able to present this, this check uh, for 15,000 euros. Um, I should cash it quickly if it's in euros. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, it, it, this is exactly the sort of work that I enjoy um, being a part of. Uh, back at home, uh, I have an arts foundation where, uh, in fact, this is in recognition of that foundation where we work in very, 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 very often in very deprived areas of the country where, uh, sadly, back home, uh, music in education is not being taken uh, and theatre in education is not being taken always as seriously as it should be. Uh, and in fact, uh, very, very many uh, schools, and in fact, there's one particular school that um, we are taking a model from and supporting with other schools, where through music they've completely turned around um, what was a really a, a, a school that was in a dreadful, dreadful state, and they've done it through, through completely through music. And every child when they arrive at the school gets a free violin, and they're taught the violin before they're even taught maths. And then because they, uh, of course, begin to work out with their fingers and the, you know, the mathematics of the violin, they've discovered that, um, that all of the other subjects, and, and, and maths in particular, these kids really get into um, master much, much quicker. And an extraordinary achievement. And it's, it's, it seems to me that what you're doing here is, is very, very simple. Have you, have you done a sequel for Phantom of the Opera? Yes, it's called Love Never Dies. Um, it was not very successful in London, but very, very successful in Australia. And the Australian production is now coming back to Britain. And it's, um, it's opening all around Europe, and hopefully it will go to America. Uh, would, would you be looking to do anything with the, the holders season, like next year, or anything like that? I don't think it would be possible. They, sometimes they pay tribute yes, to you. I, I know. Um, it, it, what would be, I think, possible for me to do anything next year because of my new show over right. in London, of course. Um, but again, I mean, I, I've followed I mean, the Holders Festival for a while, uh, um, and uh, I, I, I'd be very interested to do something there. I mean, I have my own festival back in, in Britain. And it might well be that we could find something we could do. You know, uh, my first musical to open in London was in 1972, which was Jesus Christ Superstar. And I've been lucky enough that since that time, um, I've had always had a show on the West End of London. So it's, it's a long career. <laughs> um, but I started writing music, my goodness, uh, when I was a baby. Um, my, my, first, my first sort of piece of music, which was actually published, was when I was eight years old. And um, it was a, called the Toy Theatre. It was all about six little pieces about the theatre. Sadly, I've lost it, um, and I can't find any copies of it, so I don't know what it was like. But, yeah, it was, uh, but, but I've, I've always loved music, and I've always loved. Just got a new uh, concert version of Jesus Christ Superstar that's been in Britain. Just going to Australia now, and then comes back to Britain again. And it's uh, been interesting for me to hear it uh, again, like it was originally written, not 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 really for the theatre, but. In Concert and a rock concert. It's, it's exciting. Um, but that's always been, I think, possibly my favourite song uh, from, from the show. So I like the fact it's in 5 4 time, but that's another thing. Are, are you planning to have any new musicals soon again? Yes, I've got a, a musical which is going to go into rehearsals towards the end of this year. And hopefully, it will open in London in January, February next year. Um, which sadly means I probably won't be on the island for Christmas. Um, but um, let's say it's called Stephen Ward, and it's the story of um, Rennie Hull, uh, it's a, the downfall of a man in 1963, uh, who was, I suppose, probably one of Britain's most well-known popular figures, but he became involved in the scandal that happened with the perfume yes, exactly. And um, so it's really the story of how the perfume scandal developed the, the story about how the press and um, to, to, to a degree the press and the government and everything uh, many rather manufactured a story that really wasn't uh, a big issue uh, but at the end of it this guy uh, you know, committed suicide and it's, it's a very interesting very interesting story very different to anything I've done before and we, we have Rihanna here who is sort of like mentored by the United States is Cover Drive, which is mentored by the United Kingdom. Would you be thinking of, of being that you've done this uh, kind presentation today, have you any further future plans for um, music mentorship 
in relation to Barbados? Well, um, I'm obviously a, a new kid on the block here. Um, although I've been to Barbados over the last 10 years, uh, with, with Christmas and New Year, several Christmases. Uh, and I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to come, as I, as I come here a bit more, I'd like to find out more. And then when I feel that perhaps I'm able to offer, I'd, I'd love to work with you guys. Um, it, it would be great to find you. How did you hear about the Foundation? How did you hear? How did I hear? Well, I, I started here about it over, over last year through um, through various many many people actually, um, and as, as I started to sort of meet people here, and I think it was Mia Motley who suggested to me that um, I, I should have a look further, and um, so I did. And, and when this opportunity came up with this prize, I thought this was a fantastic, fantastic charity to give it to. Thank you.